We're here in this trophy room, and we all know that Elvis has sold more records than any other artist ever, and he's still adding to his collection. Is that right? That's right. This was just installed yesterday. Uh, if I Can Dream went triple platinum and The Wonder of You gold. So he still has albums. I feel like the hammer was there. Why does his music still resonate? Oh my gosh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yes. I mean, people really connect with him. And he had that beautiful voice, and it's like, uh, like I've said many, many times before, you get the feeling that he's singing to you. Mm -hmm. I and mean, then I've experienced that, I mean, you know, being in the audience. And I always thought he sang to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he did, y'all, I'm sure he did. <laughs> Guys, Elvis is still king. Thousands flocked here yesterday to pay tribute to him. With the stage as his throne, he became the king of rock and roll, known all over the world by just one name. He broke the mold. He broke the mold, not just in singing or in music, but even in style. These recently released rarely seen photos from the Graceland archives capturing his magnetism and charisma. What do you think the allure is for some people that may, you know, just be falling in love with his music? It started out with it, really with his voice. Mm -hmm. You know, people loved his voice. When he sang, it was like he was singing to you. He wasn't bad to look at either. <laughs> <laughs> you had you know, a crush on him. Everyone had a crush on him. Oh my God, they're still having crushes on him. He was truly beautiful. He woke up beautiful. I used to stare at him. I used to look at him and go, oh my gosh. <laughs> Looking for trouble. All that, and still one of the most talented and influential performers of all time. 40 years after his death, at the age of 42. Still reaching the top of the charts, selling more than a billion records worldwide, more than anyone ever. 179 records certified gold and platinum, nominated for 14 Grammys. What do you think is his biggest legacy? First of all, how can you say well, how's his biggest legacy? He was really good at whatever he did. <laughs> Take my Inspiring a slew of new artists, including country singer Brett Eldridge. Elvis paid the way for pretty much everybody that's playing music now. He has a little hand in all of his home, Graceland, declared a national monument. It's been four decades since his passing, but for Priscilla, the heartache and the memory of that day never fades. Today, more than 600,000 people visit here every year. Best looking man and... <laughs> I loved him. I just loved him. How long have you loved Elvis? Since I was born. Since you were born? How old are you? I'm nine. I, I can't explain it, it's really hard, but he's everything to me. Remembering and celebrating the man, the legend, the king of rock and roll. What would you say to him now? If he were here today looking outside and seeing all the people that still loved him, missed him, he would, I don't know, he wouldn't believe it. And I always so, Priscilla, today is the day of his passing. What goes through your mind on a day like this? Wow, you know, you can't th help but think, you know, about the day that it happened. But we have so much here to, you know, remind us of all the good that he's done and all the entertaining that he did and all the great things about him that keeps really his memory alive. Mm -hmm. And many people, as you know, come here just for that. And you <clears throat> share your grief with a lot of people. There were thousands of people at the vigil last night. Yes, unbelievable. More than we've ever had at the 40th, 40 years after, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. they are still coming and this has been our biggest yet. There was a little criticism that for the first time ever the vigil needed to be paid for. Well, I, there's a lot of misinformation about that. Everyone was allowed on the streets to enjoy the vigil at no cost. So we're here in front of the jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that people travel from all over the world, from Australia, from Asia, to take a look at, at these famous jumpsuits. Yes, yes, and they remind me so much of all that. You know, I obviously went to so many shows, so I see the jumpsuits, and I, you can't help but env you know, envision him in them, mm -hmm. and of course, with me enjoying all the shows. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, to be at an Elvis show, yeah. to be Priscilla Presley at an Elvis show. We're headed over to the 
year 1968, a right. flashback. It yes. was a big year yes. for the two of y'all. It was when Elvis had his Christmas special on, on NBC. Right. What was that like for you? You know, I have to admit, I had never seen Elvis live before. That you had was, never no, seen? that was my first time. Um, when I came here, uh, when I was in L.A., and for the first time, he was uh, contracted three movies a year. Yeah. So that's all he had, and he hadn't performed in over 10 years, so the 68 special was, again, we, we all yeah. know, was now the opportunity for touring again. But and, I never saw him. And 1968 was also the year you guys gave birth to your daughter. Right. She was here last night. Yes. How's she doing? Oh, she's doing well. Thank you. And yeah. she, you know, she loved it. It was just, it's great to come here just walking around when everyone's gone and yeah. just look at everything and just, uh, you know, share memories. Oh, well, thank you for sharing thank your you. memories with thank us. Thank you so much. I thank love you. being with you. Thank you. You know, I'm the lucky one that gets to be with Mrs. Priscilla Presley. We're right here at the new guest house of Graceland. This property is just right down the block from the original Graceland, and it officially opens today. But lucky for me, I got a sneak peek. Elvis fans finding a new place to dwell. The guest house at Graceland, a resort just steps away from the legendary performer's iconic Memphis mansion, visited by some 600,000 fans each year. And now as a three-decade dream becomes a reality, those fans will have a chance to experience a modern take on his larger-than-life style with the help of Priscilla Presley, who had a hand in the design process. You're gonna give me a personal tour? I am, come on, I, I have so much wait. to show you. Okay, great, let's, let's do, do it. it. So this is a replica of the staircase in Graceland. This is a grand staircase. It sure yes. is. Yes, it's a replica of the staircase in the front room as you enter Graceland. The chandelier here is an even larger replica of the same chandelier that's uh, overlooking the, the foyer as well. The sprawling 450-room resort features 20 Elvis-themed suites, all fit for a king and located on the hotel's exclusive top floor, known as the Upstairs, an area resembling Elvis's private living quarters at Graceland, which no one but family and close friends have ever seen. So this is the suite you're staying in, the King yes, Suite? Yes, the King Suite, that's right. And, gold, and this is the and way that Elvis's room looks in Graceland? It's red, yes, red, black, and gold. And if you'll notice, up on the top here of the canopy, we have a television set, as you can see it yes. from here. Um, actually, at Graceland in the master bedroom, we had two. Well, I hope you were watching the Today Show on the Yeah, ceiling. we watched the Today Show. <laughs> I, well, we were never up that early. <laughs> we came home at that time. Another suite inspired by the living room at Graceland, where the Presleys would entertain close friends. He'd play the piano, or sometimes he'd take the guitar, and the guys would join in singing and harmonize with him. And this suite, reminiscent of the Presley's home in Palm Springs, where Elvis and Priscilla spent their honeymoon. I could actually see my parents sitting here, my brother, my sister, him, myself, uh, his father. It was like, just kind of this whole thing was sprawled all over the couch. So oh, it was- so it brings it's, back great memories. Yeah, it does. Other amenities of the guest house, a 464 seat theater, and five restaurants serving up Southern comfort food. Where do you feel his presence the most in this whole place. Graceland is where yeah. I really feel the presence. Yeah. I mean, the, his spirit is there. Uh, where I feel it here is just the style and design of what he loved. The guest house at Graceland, where Elvis never leaves the building. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that was such a bad thing. But now I'm with the lovely Priscilla Presley. Thank you for having us here. We've made our way to the lobby. And yes. Elvis is in all of the details of this magnificent property, isn't that right? Absolutely. I mean, if you look around, even at the, the details of the couch, I mean, it's not just a plain couch. There's a little detail of uh, purple that comes in with studs going around. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was such a, he, he, he loved detail. Mm -hmm. And he, he was so stylish himself. I mean, when you look at the way he dressed, even from the time he started out in the early 50s, I mean, he, everyone, you know, looked at him and he goes, my God, who is this? But he, he really, he had just such a flair. And, and actually, this is really what this is all about, mm -hmm. is flair, it's taste, it's beautiful, it's comfortable. I mean, Elvis, 
every, everywhere you look, I mean, it's Elvis is here. In yeah. fact, uh, a couple of people who are friends of mine who who um, actually was in the inner circle came mm -hmm. in and looked at it and says, oh my God, Elvis is everywhere. And when you see, and, and if you knew him, yeah. you would see even the designs of the chair. He, he, you know, he was way ahead of his time yeah. if you go to Graceland. So let's look at this amazing ceiling. It actually mirrors his jumpsuits, is that right? Well, it's taken from a cape yeah. that was white with clear crystal. Yeah. And, you know, he, he was a showman and people he did it the first time in Vegas when he brought out this cape mm -hmm. and he just kind of walked around and people went crazy with it because mm -hmm. he, he was like I said a showman so this cape was all white with little white crystal in it it's a, it's just a, a subtle inspiration of, of that particular cape if you could say subtle but at night it looks <laughs> yes, so Mac, beautiful. So lit up. Yeah. So you have eight-year-old grandbabies. What do yes. you tell them about their granddaddy? Oh my gosh, they know very a lot about. They, they listen to Sirius Radio and they put you <laughs> the know, Elvis uh, Channel, of yes, course. Yes, the Elvis Channel, and um, they oh, they ask questions about him and mm. they uh, they they just. Um, they're very proud of him, very proud of him. And I can tell you are too. Well, I'm, I'm really proud of this place. I just think this is 30 years in the making, mm -hmm. really, as far as planning, wanting to do this. Uh, we've had three other people who have tried to come up with something mm -hmm. that they felt, but this, this we've got it. it right. We have local designers uh, mm -hmm. uh, that we've been working with, and, um, and I've been working very closely with them. Mm -hmm. So, Well, thank you thank so you. much. This thank was you. such an honor to be down here. Uh, and by the way, the cheese biscuits were fantastic. <laughs>